So I think yeah, that in that type of instance, uh, to prove my case, to put forward my case, and all the evidence is actually verified. You know, the information which I shared uh, here, so it will be verified. And then, based on the verification, it, I, I was granted asylum. So the story that you are telling us, did you say the same thing or more to the U.S. authorities? In a limited time, uh, Ashish, you know, we won't be able to go through four and a half years of my life. However, I get, I get really emotional when I talk about the kind of suffering I had to go through uh, since, since May 2014. So, you know, I'm not in a mental stage to, to trigger all the suffering again. So I'm, I'm trying to be precise because we have time restraints here. But, yes, there's a lot more to, to my story than what I'm sharing right now. In other words, the question that I am asking is that proof of what you are saying should be available with the records with the U.S. administration? Yes, indeed. Okay. Yes. If you could say a little bit more and then round off, I would like to ask people to put questions to you. So basic point Can you tell us a little bit of uh, this story that you've been telling us? You have been out of India since 2014. Yes. Now, is it your belief that what happened as you are claiming in 2014 has continued to happen? It is happening as we speak. The Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh election. If we wouldn't have my team who is still in India, they intercepted the, the transmission with that, with that interception. Still, like I said, we don't have too much of uh, resources, but we still wanted to see how free and fair the election could be possible. Over the end of that transmission interception, the, the election results were very close in Madhya Pradesh. You know, one seat was up, one seat was down. If election commission agrees to count the BB pad, the entire one of it, you will see a complete discrimination between the EVM data and the VP pad data. So you will find a huge amount of discrimination or discrepancy in in the Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, and especially Telangana. In fact, it is it has been discovered recently that number of vote registered uh, was higher in EVM than number of vote casted. In about 40 constituencies, about 5,000, 6,000 votes is more in 40 constituencies. An election commission did not even bother to give an explanation on what happened. And like I said, you know, after this press meet, if anyone goes and approach the election commission and ask them anything about it, they will completely deny. They will say that EVMs are tamper proof and if you ask to present, they will present the one which we built, the prototype which they have, which is impossible to hack, and nobody is going to do anything about it. Nobody is going to do anything about it because no political party have guts to stand up and ask why do we have give pad when we can count. And now counting give pad is also super little because it will completely sink with, uh, with the data. However, back in September 2018, that bug was fixed by, by us. They brought the, the EVM, EV pads, 